after the struggle of all india muslim league and shimla deputation at least in the minto mole forms british government accepted the separate electorate demand of the muslims minto mole reforms introduced by british government in 1909 by 1909 the political turmoil and unrest prevailed in india the extremist hindu and congress activities have forced the muslims to give a serious thought for to their future line of action in order to protect and safeguard their interests as a nation by now the muslims had come to realize with firmness that they were a separate nation meanwhile an extremist hindu organization hindu mahasabha had emerged in the indian politics with a highly prejudicial concept of nationalism this organization had some extremely narrow minded elements who believed that the muslims should be eliminated from the indian society the muslims no stood exposed to the blatant exploitation by the congress and hindu mahasabha the muslim league found itself at the precarious brink of its struggle for the muslim cause the circumstances drove the muslims to worry about their position in the cause the british left the country to be ruled by hindu majority the hindu and congress activities have exposed their heinous designs toward the muslims which justifiably the enforce muslim suspicions the muslim read at the conclusion that they would be dominated permanently by the hindus in cause the british left the country at any time the muslims therefore decided to adopt a line of action in order to safeguard their separate identity the demand for separate electorate by the shimla deputation and later by the muslim league was the first step taken into the direction to protect and maintain the separate image of the muslims the british government had also realized the importance of muslim anxiety about their future and were convinced that the present constitutional provisions were inadequate to provide safeguard to the muslims the muslim league had made it clear to the government that the muslims as a nation were determined to maintain themselves as a separate entity and were not prepared to emerge their identity in any other system the government therefore decided to introduce new constitution reform to dispel muslim suspicions In 1908 at the time of golden jubilee celebrations of king edward the british government announced that it desired to see democracy flourishing in india the government made it clear that it was in favor of giving more rights to the indian people the vice royal lord minto in accordance with the policy of the government set to the task of preparing a draft bill in collaboration with lord morley the secretary of state of for india for the introduction of constitutional reforms the bill was prepared and presented in the parliament for approval the bill however after approval by the parliament and royal assent was enforced in 1909 and come to be known as minto mole reforms of 1909 after the names of the viceroy and secretary of state for india the act contained many features the long standing demand of muslims for a separate electorate was conceded and included in minto mole reforms the preparation of separate electoral rolls were ordered 
the legislative councils were extended the authority of the council was enhanced the members were given more liberties and they could present any resolution or motion before the council for discussion the viceroy's council membership was fixed at 60 members the membership of the provinces of bengal up bihar bombay madras and orissa was fixed at 50 members whereas the membership of the provinces of punjab burma assam was fixed at 30 members the indians were included in the executive council of the viceroy and in provincial executive councils the local bodies trade unions and universities were allowed to elect their members lieutenant governors were appointed in bengal bombay and madras these provinces were given right to form their own councils the minto mole reforms were not free of defects but they had in easing down the mounting turmoil in the country there were some inherent defects in these forms due to which the minto mole scheme could not last very long the minto mole reforms did not provide for mode of electing the representatives this system failed to develop a sense of accountability among the representatives the voting rights were squeezed which made the electorate to narrow and restricted most of the people felt that they were not being represented the authority given to the elected members of raising questions and sir criticizing the policies proved useless as the real legislative authority rested with the government and its nominated persons the nominated members were in majority who always voted in favor of the government the legislative bodies lacked effective control on the government agencies the central government exercised vast authority in the financial sphere the provincial expenditures were controlled by the central government which could cut the provincial expenditures at will how the importance and utility of minto mole reforms cannot be set aside because of some weaknesses in the scheme it exceeded the muslims their much cherished demand the separate electorate in the provinces where legislative councils existed the minto mole reforms conferred on the muslims the double vote by which they could vote in general constituencies as well this privilege was widely represented by the hindu majority despite the limited scope the minto mole reforms gave impetus to the constitutional development in india These reforms introduced the system of elections for the first time which created a great deal of political awareness among the indian people the muslims got most of what they demanded the acceptance of separate electorate for the muslim enhanced their political importance and significance for this the members of similar deputation deserve all credit for convincing the government of the importance of separate electorate for the muslims the muslim league performed in a commendable manner by achieving the major demands of the muslims after only 2 years of its inception it scored an amazing political triumph within a short time of its political struggle the acceptance of separate electorate set the course of muslim freedom movement which culminated in the shape of pakistan after a 40 years intense struggle it also gave strength to the two nation theory which became the basis of the freedom struggle of the muslims <laughs>